Creating and selling coloring books for children can be a fantastic online money-making opportunity, especially when you can craft books that tie into upcoming events or holidays, like the Halloween-themed coloring books you've seen successful sellers create. The key to a winning coloring book lies in having high-quality coloring pages, an eye-catching cover, and a quick production process. And guess what? We can achieve all of this using some amazing AI tools that we'll introduce in this video, and best of all, they're free. Firstly, I want to express my gratitude for the positive feedback on my last video about crafting coloring books for adults. Your comments have inspired me to dive deeper into the process, and that's exactly what we're going to do in this tutorial. So here are the tools we'll be using. ChatGPT for coloring page ideas. We'll use this AI to spark creativity and generate fantastic coloring page ideas. Google Sheet for automatic 1111 prompts preparation in bulk. Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 for image generation. Canva for both interior page design and creating the book cover. Make sure you have Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 installed locally. ChatGPT 3.5 and the free version of Canva will work just fine for this project. By the end of this video, you'll have the skills to effortlessly generate hundreds of high quality coloring pages in bulk, all automatically. So make sure to stick around until the very end. Before we dive in, please take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay updated with all our future videos. And let's aim for 500 likes on this video to beat the algorithm. Now let's get started. First, let's kick things off by generating around 50 fantastic coloring page ideas using ChatGPT. We're using the same method as in our previous video. I'll provide the prompt used in the description box below, along with all the links and resources we'll use throughout this tutorial. I'll be working on a cute animal-themed coloring book for children, but you can easily tweak the prompt to match your own preferred niche. Next up, we're going to compare the coloring pages generated by three different SDXL checkpoint models. We'll use the same prompt and settings for each model, and a special LoRa designed for coloring books that we'll examine later. As you can see from these examples, the checkpoint models that performed well are Sahastra Kodi XL and Dream Shaper XL. On the contrary, this time Juggernaut XL didn't deliver a good outcome. There are numerous deformations and instabilities in its performance, so let's exclude it. To move forward, we'll need to download Sahastra Kodi XL and Dream Shaper XL models from sievitai.com. Links provided in the description below. Remember to place them in the Models folder inside the Stable Diffusion folder. Additionally, we require the LoRa called Coloring Book Redmond for SDXL, and you should put this LoRa in the model folder inside the LoRa directory. This is an important step, so ensure you follow it closely. Let's proceed. Now, open your Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 web user interface to prepare the prompt, LoRa, and settings to generate coloring pages. First, select the Sahastra Koti XL checkpoint model, then copy and paste both the coloring book positive prompt and the negative prompt. Now let's update the scene description from ChatGPT with one of the ideas we generated earlier on ChatGPT. I'm going with the capybara themed idea because, well, who doesn't love capybaras? Next, let's move on to our settings. For the sampling method, keep it as Euler A. Maintain 20 steps for the sampling steps. For the image dimensions, set them to 1024 by 1024. These SDXL models are trained on images with these dimensions, which helps avoid deformations. Now here's an optional step you can try to potentially improve the final result. Add an SDXL refiner and set the switch to 0.6. After that, click Generate. You'll notice that the image generated is in color, which we don't want for our coloring book. To fix this, we are going to add our coloring book Redmond SDXL LoRa. Go to the LoRa tab, select coloring book Redmond, and keep the strength at one, then click generate again.
Voila, now we have a coloring page featuring a cute capybara. Let's keep the same settings and just change the checkpoint model to DreamShaper XL. The result looks even better this time using DreamShaper XL. Let's now change the animal to a rabbit and adjust the environment while keeping everything else the same. As you can see, there's a small error on its right ear, but you can easily fix that with an editing tool. Lastly, let's use Sahastrakoti XL to see how it performs with the cute rabbit prompt. Look at that. This one looks perfect and doesn't need any editing at all. Having both of these high quality models can complement each other and help us create top-notch coloring pages. It's a powerful combination. Now that we've tested our prompt and settings, let's move on to the next step, which is generating 50 or even more of these coloring pages all at once. Keep watching, it's about to get exciting. First, open a blank Google Sheet. And in the first column, A, let's copy and paste all our prompts ideas from ChatGPT. Great, now in column B, insert our coloring page prompt template that we used in Automatic 11.11. Next, we'll copy and paste a formula that will allow the coloring page's scene descriptions from ChatGPT to be included within each stable diffusion prompt. This will streamline the process and make it much more efficient. You can find it in the description below. Now, copy everything from column C in your Google Sheet. Go back to the automatic 11.11 web UI, remove the positive prompt and keep the negative one. Keep the same settings and scroll down to script. From the drop down menu, choose prompt from file or text. Now, paste all your prompts into the list of prompt inputs. After doing this, click on generate. Please note that generating 50 images may take some time depending on the processing power of your GPU. So be patient while it works its magic. Once the process is complete, let's check the results in the output folder. This model has done an impressive job generating many amazing coloring pages that require little to no editing, even better than Juggernaut XL from the last video. Now you can move on to the next step, which is organizing your coloring book on Canva. But since we've covered this in detail in our previous video, I recommend watching that part for a step-by-step -step guide. You can find the link in the description. However, this time, let's focus on creating the book cover since we didn't do that in the last video. It's an important aspect of your coloring book and we'll guide you through the process. Let's dive into designing your book cover. First, let's use one of our generated coloring pages as a potential cover image for your coloring book. Here's how to do it. Open a new web UI tab and navigate to PNG info. Import one of the coloring pages image and click on send to TXT to IMG. Now you'll need to modify the positive and negative prompts to focus on getting a colorful image instead of a coloring page. Add watercolors to the prompt and click generate to see the result. After a few attempts, you'll likely generate an image that looks great for a front book cover. Now, let's move on to generating the back cover of the book. Simply remove from the positive prompt the animal or object that was the focus of the front cover, leaving only the background. Keep the same seed and settings to generate a similar background image. Here's an amazing trick to blend the front cover with the back cover to make your book cover look professional. Open an image editing software of your choice. We'll use photop.com since it's free and accessible to many users who might not have Photoshop. Create a new project with a width of 2048 and a height of 1024, then click Create. Import both your front and back covers. Place the back cover on the left side and the front cover on the right side. Save the image and return to your web UI. Now, in the Image to Image tab, copy and pass the positive and negative prompt of the last generated back cover of your book. Select InPaint and import the large image from Photo P. 
Start in painting over the back cover image, adding a little bit from the side of the front cover image. Set only masked padding to 60 and the dimensions to match the original image. Set the denoise strength to 0.6 and don't forget to keep the same seed as the front cover image. This will blend the two images seamlessly into one large cover image. Now you can start upscaling the images along with your cover. You can use upscale for fast upscaling, or if you prefer to upscale on automatic 1111, you can do that too. You can refer to my previous video for upscaling instructions if needed. To create a captivating book cover, we'll start by heading to Google and searching for KDP book cover calculator. Click on the first link you see, fill in the required information and choose your interior dimensions. Click on calculate dimensions and then download the provided template Extract the zip file and open the PDF to copy the correct sizes to use on Canva. On Canva, upload the template image and adjust it to fit the frame. Utilize Canva's ruler to create guidelines based on the template to ensure your design aligns perfectly. Upload your book cover design and let your creativity flow to create an eye-catching book cover that entices your readers. Now with your book cover ready, you can upload it to Amazon KDP along with the book interior. Make sure to upscale all your images to ensure good quality. As requested, I slowed the pace a bit in this tutorial and focused on the most important aspects, which is the book creation process. By using this method, you can create high quality coloring books more efficiently. Just remember not to use deformed or low quality images, as Amazon buyers often complain about this. Use editing software to improve your images before publishing. And that's all for today. In our next videos, we'll explore more ways to make money using AI tools, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the like button to boost the algorithm. Goodbye for now.